Hello all my makeup freaks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Stephanie. So today I'm going to be talking about this Kat Von D, what is it called, Studded Kiss Lipstick and I have the color L-U-V. I think the packaging is so adorable. It has like little grommets or almost looking like studs or spikes all over it and the lipstick itself, which if I can get it open, has that same kind of pattern and it has like the Kat Von D logo on the top and it is of course a beautiful purple color and it does have like the Kat Von D stamp inside of it too. Now the only thing that I'll say if you look at the lipstick it does not look like you get a whole lot for the price you pay. That would be my first negative just to start off with because I believe these are $21. I will put the price down below. Kat Von D is sold at Sephora so you can pick that up there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it applies and then we'll talk about my thoughts and feelings on this lipstick. I'm going to zoom you in real quick. I think I am anyway. Oop, no. Opposite way Stephanie. Okay. Oh and let me just say it does have a vanilla almost like a vanilla cupcake batter smell versus just a vanilla smell like Mac. This, I do like the smell of this. Okay, so that's what it looks like on. I'm going to zoom you back out and then we'll talk about what I think about it. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell when I was putting it on. It has a very dry texture. It almost reminds me of the MAC Ruby Woo and that kind of texture. If you're familiar with that, that is the kind of texture that this lipstick has. It feels almost hard to apply. It does go on evenly once you, you know, you kind of get it on and that is good. It is like it is a very dry lipstick, but I do not find that it dries my lips out. So it is like that also with the MAC matte lipsticks, as I don't feel like it is drying on my lips, although it is a dry lipstick. Now, with that being said, if your lips are in any type of bad condition, if they have any dryness, if they have any cracking, if they're kind of um, lined, you're going to see it. That is the problem with a full on matte lipstick. Now you can get, you know, lip gloss and put it on top and be fine. But if you don't want to pay, you know, $21 for a lipstick that you have to put something else on top of to wear, this may not be the lipstick for you. Also, if you feel like this is not a decent amount of lipstick for the price, let me just see. This says it has 3.0 grams. So I'm not sure what a MAC lipstick has. It could turn out to be that it is the same, but this just looks like an awful small amount of lipstick for $21. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of this lipstick. Like I said, I do like it. I'm glad I have it. This is a beautiful color. I will wear it, but I don't know that I would run out and get every single color just for the texture issues and the price versus the amount that you get. So I hope you enjoyed this quick review and I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I love you.